Okay, Raphael, when would you consider transplant for a patient with MDS-related anemia? So this is a great question. It's one that we get very often in clinic. And as you know, stem cell transplantation for MDS represents the only cure for this, for this disease, but it's not a guarantee. And the process has a lot of risks that are associated with it. So the decision to take someone to transplant is really a complicated one and it involves several different features. Now, age is not an absolute reason to transplant someone or not transplant someone, but it's true that in general, patients over the age of 75 are very unlikely to be considered good candidates for this procedure. And in part, that has to do with their risk of having complications or even potentially dying from the treatment. But for younger, younger individuals, we now have ways of doing transplants that are more safe than they were in the past, and we can get more and more of them through. So for young patients with MDS, MDS that is particularly higher risk, meaning that it's more likely to cause problems for them in the short term. In patients who don't have a lot of other problems like heart disease or lung disease or kidney disease and so on, these are patients that are going to be better candidates for this type of approach. So in general, I take into account not only the disease aspects, but also the other health aspects and their age and other things in order to make a decision. But in general, I would say that lower risk MDS patients are likely to live much longer with their disease than they are to uh, do particularly well with transplant. In other words, I think the transplant may actually end up shortening their life on average, and we prefer to take patients with lower risk disease and treat them in the ways that we've discussed today and save transplant for an option should they progress to more advanced disease.